Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Carlos back here with us today. This is Carlos' fifth treatment out of eight treatments, so we're going to kind of give you a midway analysis of where he is, and I'm going to show you exactly how we treat the underlying cause of acid reflux slash hiatal hernia slash GERD, because I'm not really treating acid reflux or hiatal hernia disease itself. We're treating the reason that people have it in the first place. So let's go ahead and take a look here. And Carlos is visiting us all the way from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Or a little town outside of San Juan anyway. He said everything's reachable in San or in Puerto Rico. Everything's close to San Juan. And Carlos is uh, staying right across the street to Hyatt Regency, North Houston, which is where we have special rates for all of our patients coming in from out of town or out of the country, for that matter. And we do have a lot of good extracurricular activities in Houston to do. Uh, Johnson Space Center, you know, remember Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> now, Houston, we don't have a problem. All right, you're looking much better there, Carlos, on your posture, so that's changing already. Let's go ahead and decompress you first. Now, we've been advising Carlos, like we do all of our out-of-town or out-of-country patients, to eat anything and everything that he wants to eat right now that used to cause him problems with his acid reflux and hiatal hernia, because I want to test it every time that we're here to see how it's holding. And he has been doing that. He's been eating McDonald's and steaks and other things that have usually caused him a lot of grief with his acid reflux and hiatal hernia issues. Now I'll let him tell you afterwards how things have done. Take a nice deep one. There you go. There we go. Good. Fill that all the way down? Mm -hmm. Good. Yep, and he is still kicking. Mm -hmm. There we go. There. Mm -hmm. So what you see us doing here is exactly what you would get done if you come here for this type of treatment. Uh, Carlos, you said you watched this for like what three years? Yeah. On YouTube. Three years. Yep. We'll see. And then finally made the decision. He was tired of taking the medication and other medical alternatives, which mm -hmm. are really his only medications and surgery. And mm -hmm. those are not good alternatives actually. Because for the treatment of hyal hernia, yeah, it does nothing to actually correct the underlying cause of the problem. And there's a lot of very adverse uh, side effects to these like Prilosec and these other PPI drugs that are being prescribed by physicians to patients with acid reflux or hiatal hernia. Heartburn is the common name for this. Uh, people a lot of times feel pain underneath their sternum and rib cage with this. They also get a real full feeling under their ribs and under their sternum. Feels like they can't really get a lot of food down, swallow a lot of food, because it sticks in their esophagus a lot. And then, of course, the most classic thing is the acid actually refluxing all the way up into the esophagus and into the throat. We saw a patient yesterday, flight attendant, for United. We take care of a lot of airport people because we're so close to George Bush Intercontinental Airport here in North Houston that she had severe hoarseness even from having acid reflux and hiatal hernia so bad and we saw her one time and she already sounded better at the end of the treatment did you feel that move down there Carlos? Uh -huh. yep so I'm just doing a lateral oblique stretch with this there we go. That's a good one, too. I don't know if you can hear those on the camera or not. I know some of you have asked me to get a mic to put on my wrist or my lapel, but um, 
I've done that before and it doesn't really turn out that great because you get a lot of scratching noises from me adjusting people and me touching it with my movements that I do. Okay, so L5, L4, L3, those are all perfectly aligned now. And his legs are exactly even. Carlos, tell me if you feel any tightness or pain when I do this. Nope. Great. So, to open up the joints in the cervical and thoracic spine, I put the head forward a little bit and adjust him in the Z axis and Y axis. Okay. There we go. Excellent. A lot of people who have uh, problems with acid reflux and hiatal hernia, they also get a lot of like heart palpitations or stress, anxiety. That's a sympathetic nervous system response or the autonomic nervous system called fight or flight. That's like when you scare a cat, the hair goes up on the back of his neck and his tail gets big, puffy. It's either going to fight you or flee. So that's called the fight or flight response. And most people suffering from acid reflux and hiatal hernia have that. Heavy duty anxiety, heart palpitations. Did you have that at all, Carlos? Yeah, all the time. All the time, yep. And that's eased off quite a bit for you, hasn't it? Yeah. Just in these five visits? Yep. We'll let you tell them about that here after we get done. Okay, my friend, let's go ahead and turn you on your back now. Now this next procedure is one of the main things that I do to actually bring the stomach back down underneath of the dome diaphragm to keep it down in the lower cavity as opposed to it slipping up into the esophagus and secreting acid. So take a deep breath in, Carlos. I'm going to... Some nice steady pressure down in there. I grab the top of his stomach called the fundus. I pull that straight down. There we go. And another one. There we go. That's it. And one more here. And this is a lot deeper than what it looks on the videos. I'm getting in there pretty deep, aren't I, Carlos? Yep. Now also a lot of times people have ileocecal valve issues too, which is part of the gastrointestinal tract. That's GERD, gastrointestinal reflux esophagitis, is what that stands for. But it really does involve the entire GI tract. So I do a little colon massage on patients who have this too, because a lot of times patients will have constipation and or diarrhea associated with their hiatal hernia acid reflux condition as well. There, you can feel a little bit of that gurgling in there, huh? Well, that's really tight right there, huh? Yep. Because sometimes you'll get some blockage in your colon and cause constipation in there and it'll make it difficult to go and painful to go. I think the biggest... Comments that I hear from people coming here from out of the country or from out of state is they say they wish they'd have done this two or three years ago when they first found out about it instead of wait so long because if you can get this under control naturally why wait to do that and keep taking those dangerous drugs and potions that are going to cause dementia or other neurodegenerative changes that's also published, if you want to know where that's at, in the Journal of American Medical Association. And uh, I think the title of it is Acid Reflux Drugs Cause Dementia. Linked to Dementia. Which you know there's a huge increase in dementia and Alzheimer's disease now and a lot of that is due to neurodegenerative toxins 
that occur in a lot of different drugs, not just the drugs for acid reflux, but other drugs as well. Increase the amount of autism nowadays from all the vaccines. Yeah, so we're going to adjust every single joint. Perfect. Good job. There we go. Very good. Okay. So, uh, Carlos, if you had to share the, the most significant thing about your trip here and your treatment here for your hiatal hernia, what would it be? I would say the relief on the hiatal hernia. And the reflux. I, I used to get that every day and it was real bad and now pretty much I'm getting probably if 10% of that and it's a, it's a real really. But you told me uh, last night that you were also drinking multiple cups of coffee throughout the day now. Yep. And, and you I, had had to stay away from yeah, that for years. Yep. And I, I would take probably once every two weeks but uh, yesterday I was drinking coffee and the day before too and uh, that didn't cause any uh, any uh, heartburn or acid reflux or nothing like that. Yeah. Yeah. And are you able to digest your food a little easier right now? And you're yeah. going to the bathroom yeah, more regularly. And another thing is like uh, you were saying about uh, uh, fight or flight. Yes. And, uh, the heart palpitation. Yep. And uh, sometimes uh, when you uh, when you face situations that you would deal like nothing with them uh, on a daily basis, when you got this. Uh, is a is a big obstacle because uh, you see things bigger than they are. Yeah, it makes you more nervous and yep. anxiety ridden exactly. when you got all that yep. fight or flight going on. You're able to deal with regular life on a daily basis better when you're not hurting so much all the time exactly. or having so much acid in yep. there getting that fight or flight. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us, Carlos. And the biggest thing that I can tell you, if you're suffering from acid reflux or hiatal hernia or GERD, don't wait to come here and take care of it. Take care of it as soon as possible because all you're doing is delaying your healing. And the younger you are, the better results we get. So Carlos is a perfect example of that. He came all the way here from Puerto Rico to get this treatment. I mean, they've got doctors in Puerto Rico, but they don't do this, do they? Nope. And, and you haven't found any other chiropractors to do this either, no, have you? And I've been online for a long time. <laughs> yeah. So... We invite you to come to Advanced Chiropractic Relief. You can check us out at advancedhoustonchiropractor.com. We have a lot of information on our website about this. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, Carlos, Renee, and Joseph coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see you next time.